Okay, so this is the first way. I downloaded the zip, I extracted it, and I got this Team One Recovery Project EXE on my desktop now. It's gonna make me press into a moment. The device is ready. Holding volume down and power. One of those ways you could also flash it in fast boot, where it, when you first start it up, it checks for a zip called PGA something something. Yeah, there's several different ways to do this, and I'll cover them. But I'm gonna show you that right now. I have Clockwork Recovery. There you go. I'm going to reboot it to system. This method is going to be through using Evil Dev Knowles automated system. Sorry the quality isn't that great. It'll be much better here in the next few days. So now it's probably rebooting the fast boot. I'm telling you this will be clear here very soon. Thank you Team Wayne and Evil Dev Null for their work. Press any key to exit. Ta-da! Let's see. Oh, I let my phone charge all night long. So, here we go. You have install. You choose the zip you want. You can sort them different ways. Pressing these buttons do get you back and forth, which they don't with Clockwork Recovery. You've got to keep pressing volume up and down and power. And like settings, zip the signature. There's all your different settings. Time zone, restore defaults. I'm not sure what pushing this does. Reboot, advanced, copy log to SD, fix permissions, partition SD card, uh, mount. You can mount your SD card so that way you can transfer stuff on your computer without actually rebooting to your system and doing it. And you get to choose all the different things you want to mount. And if you do mount something, you can't press back until you unmount it. Uh, backup. I can back up my whole phone recovery cache, cache, cache Android Secure, WiMAX, enable compression. I would not skip that because MD5s basically make sure that everything matches and restore your phone and that's about it I mean uh, they also have this for the Kindle Fire and I promise you before the end of this month I'll have a Kindle Fire I promise you that uh, if I do win one then I'll probably just give it to the wife and she'll use it um, but yeah it's choose reboot to recovery bootloader power off system I'm gonna do system damn this is freaking awesome. I don't want to make this video really long, so I'm going to make another video here right after this one, and I'm going to show you how you can do this without using a computer. This is just pretty much a no-brainer way for the people that don't really feel comfortable messing with fast boot and all kinds of different things. Anyways, this is What With Josh and this is the first look at how to install Team Win Recovery 2.0 on the Evo 3D. This is What With Josh and I'm out.